the instructions may work with other microcontrollers. You do though need to check the data sheet first. Okay. Now I've taken these two small screenshots here from well, this was from the data sheet PIC 16F88, and then this one was from the MP Lab Picket 4 in Circuit Debugger Guide. Okay, so let me just quickly show you those. Drag that in. So that that's where that uh, screenshot came from. So it gives you gives you the pinouts. Do note that I'm using the pin diagram for the PDIP package. So I don't know whether there is another. Yeah, there are other um, versions of the packages. Okay, so that's the one that I'm actually using. So that's what I'm showing you here. And then the picket for it shows you standard connections. Now you're going to notice in a moment that the this standard connection or suggested connections doesn't include this 100 ohm resistor which is in series with the MCLR pin the pin 4 of the PIC 16F88 but if you're going to program a PIC 16F88 do include that if you don't you'll most likely brick your microcontroller now I've done that several times over and I subsequently contacted microchip and was told include that there because although it's not documented you do need it for the some of the older microcontrollers. So let's just quickly whiz through the pin connections. So I've numbered them up. That's pin one, that square pin now, down to pin six, which has no connection. So pin one, if you look at this diagram here, pin one it says connect to MCLR. So yeah, via the series resistor, it connects to pin four, which is the MCLR. So pin four, MCLR. Pin two goes to VDD. So there we go, pin two goes to VDD and then we've got a resistor in the range of 10 kilo ohms to 50 kilo ohms between pin 1 and 2 so in other words between VDD and MCLR so that's between VDD and MCLR pin 3 of the picket 4 goes to VSS so pin 3 goes down to ground there as does pin 5 which is ground there VSS pin 4 of the picket goes to the programming data and if you look at the data sheet, if you didn't know which pin was programming data, then you'll see that it is pin 13. So pin 4 of the pick kit goes to pin 13. Pin 5 of the pick kit goes to the programming clock. So there you go. Once again, you can check the data sheet. Programming clock is pin 12 of the pick 16F88. And so there we go. It goes to pin 12. And that's all you need. OK, so I'm assuming that uh, you've got no other connections, so no LEDs or any other connected devices. So that's the basic circuit to program your PIC16F88 in circuit.